In today's video, I want to talk about glitter. Stampin' Up! has this wonderful Dazzling Diamonds glitter. Lots of shine to this, but you can see it's white. So I was wondering what would happen if I tried to color it. I think it worked great. Let me show you what I did. Add just a little bit of glitter into a container, just like that. Now this glitter is wonderfully ultra fine, so it's going to pick up the color really well. So I'm just going to add a drop of reinker. In this case, it's rose red to the glitter, and just start with a spoon or something else working it in. So you're going to see that the color starts to get added there. You want to start with very little reinker and very little glitter, and you can continually add more as you need to. So I find it easiest just to rub this color really well up against the sides, and you can see how the glitter is starting to take on the color of the reinker. So just keep working it in. If you want it a little darker, add a little bit more ink. If you want it a little bit lighter, add a little bit more glitter. But you can see that once I've got that all worked in, that my glitter has picked up the color of the reinker. Now it's not quite ready to use. I find it best to let it sit for just a couple of hours and simply dry out a little bit. So what I did is just let it sit for a bit. Every time I thought of it, I stirred it a little bit. But you can see that the glitter now has that beautiful rose red color in it. Once that's done, you can go ahead and use the glitter as you normally would. So you need some type of adhesive to adhere it. So let me show you what I did. Here I've got a flower that I cut out with a Secret Garden framelit. I'm just going to press it into my Versamark pad. So that's all coated on one side. So this is just direct to pad is the way that I'm inking that up. I've put the cardstock right into the pad. I'm going to take now and add some of the heat and stick powder onto the top and just cover that up really well. Pick it up, shape off the excess. Now I'm going to take and with my heat gun, I'm going to melt the heat and stick powder. It's very, very important when you're using heat and stick powder that you don't overdo it. So unlike embossing powders, we're trying to make sure all of it is done. You want to be as quick as you can. So as soon as you see the powder turn from matte to shiny, you want to stop. So you can see it's starting to turn there. We're going to quickly move across the entire thing, and that's all. We're going to stop now. So as soon as you get that shine, you're done. Now, I've got Marina Mist cardstock here. I'm going to just use Marina Mist glitter that I colored earlier and just add my glitter to it. You can see that it's nice and sticky. Fine, it's a good idea to press down a little bit onto it just to make sure that the glitter attaches everywhere and then just pick up the flower, tap off the excess, and you're good to go. Now you've got colored glitter onto your colored cardstock. A fun way to use the glitter with the heat and stick powder. Here are three different samples of Dazzling Diamonds glitter with cardstock. So this is rose red colored glitter on white cardstock. The middle one is rose red colored cardstock with Dazzling Diamonds that's been left natural as it comes. And the last one is the rose red glitter with rose red cardstock. So you can see that I think you get the most intense color here, and this is definitely my favorite. Here's my finished sample. You'll see that I've created two Marina Mist cardstock flowers that I've covered with Marina Mist colored glitter. And I cut those out with the Secret Garden framelit. The leaves are from the same set as well. I added a simple greeting. And in the center of each glitter flower, I've got a vintage faceted designer button and I put a pearl in the middle of each of those. It's easiest to attach the button to the flower because it's got so much glitter on it with a liquid adhesive. So that's what I did and let it dry for just a few minutes.